W, we're in trouble here. Oh, must be something fun for you to contact me on this channel. What's up? Not that much fun, W. While you were sorting out that sarcasm mercenary, one of our teams deserted. They looked like some kind of battlefield mop-up logistics team, so we went after them right away. They scattered as soon as we made contact, making for the city limits. Sounds like somebody earned a cookie. There's more. The squad we sent after them fell off the grid, too. We haven't been able to make contact. I thought maybe you'd know what happened, since you're leading the mercenaries now. How does a squad suddenly vanish? Am I supposed to understand this? It is what it is. Other teams report no sign of any enemy ambush or trap. We only know that they were facing a Sarkaz. <sighs> of course they're Sarkaz. It's not like I've got any other mercs. But anyway, this is a good story. Keep going. At first contact, we managed to suppress the target. Playing it safe, we held back our squads. The enemy did not appear particularly strong. Then suddenly, all communications ceased. Yeah, you guys tipped your hand pretty easily. A real predator knows not to bear his fangs too soon. Much we do. Well, what's so special about those sarcas? I'm not sure. We lost contact with the eyewitnesses. But from a distance, all we know is that they have a close quarters fighter who really likes to get up in there. Then I need you to avoid direct contact with them. Stall that one. I'll be there in a bit. Something the matter? Nothing. Just a little baby squad that made good bait. So we move to support them? Come on, everyone's got a job to do. Why can't we just let everybody handle their own thing? Yeah, let's not think too hard about this one. I do care so much about the Sarkaz weirdos my poor predecessor brought along. Understood. Inform all squads. Prepare for battle. Move to the outskirts of the city. This bastard's moving even faster. Is he still hiding his true power? Pathetic. Is this the best your reunion movement has to offer? This cocky. He's making fun of us. <laughs> I knew I'd run into some old friends here, but I never thought I'd see you. W, we... Go home before you get killed. Don't give me that look like you want to get even. He's not even using a fraction of his full power. But hey, if you want to die that bad, I guess I won't get in your way. Fall back. It's been a while, wandering swordmaster. You. They call me W now. How about you? Flamebringer. Surely you know what it means to exchange names with me. Ooh, spooky. So you traded business cards with all those dudes you sliced up before? Commissions in combat are not the same. A sarcasm like you, having been through a battle like that, suddenly up and vanishing, it makes a girl worry. And the mercenary running off just because he's got a new leader? That's a little wobbly, isn't it? That is utterly insignificant. Though I never imagined your subordinates would be so unworthy, unfit to even hear my name. And I guess I should be honored. Oh, but those men weren't under me very long. <laughs> Are you inviting me to kill you? No, I have no interest in your petty fighting style. I relies too much on outside forces. But I have to admit, tactics are a kind of skill. Then if your tactics are more elegant than they used to be, I am willing to taste them. <laughs> That's weird. Weren't you one of those as long as the target dies, anything goes types? W, the squad has fallen back to the target location and successfully cut off the enemy retreat. They have nowhere to go. And I never expected you would be leading this band of mooks. We've all changed a lot. Mooks? Oh, you mean reunion? Or do you mean the sarcas? <laughs> I won't be underestimating you, Sarkas. I've been watching you. Too bad. 
You're out of options. Is that how it is? I guess you are too. Isn't this much more fun? Now you're my whetstone, and my blade is a bit dull. Really? You're still talking big? Right. Come on. Shit! How are you? Yes! You're still talking. <laughs> He's even stronger. Not that I'm surprised. Why are we just standing here watching? Just give me the order and we'll turn him to dust! So now I get to boss you around again? Now's not the time for this. But I'm really not your commander. Here's an idea. Back up. Don't provoke him. And pick another time to get yourself killed. Damn it. Right? You really thought you were gonna step up and pick a fight with him? Is this open mic night? <laughs> Who's next? Where's the fire? You got somewhere to be? This isn't the first time I've been surrounded. Right, right. Let's see. Are you talking about that civil war? Sounds like a good story. Tell it for us. What's to tell? They ambushed me. They're all dead. I'm still alive. That's the story. What do you think? Should I keep going? That fight just now was nothing for me. I need so much more. No. I'm just thinking, like, why don't you join us? W, he's a traitor! Look how many of us he's killed! It was my mercenaries who decided to use him. He'd be good for reunion. Got a problem? Yes! I mean, think about it. We have so much more fun over here! War, bloodshed, and all those sarcasm buddies. Everything you're looking for, we got here on a silver platter. I'm speaking to you from the heart here. We have so much in common, you and I. I don't think so. You're infected, right? You'd fit right in with Reunion. What's the problem? Wanton destruction, organized savagery. I fail to see what I can get from a group like this. <laughs> you call this war? This is just the strike of a match flaming out. You should know what a real war looks like. Oh, don't talk like that. We've got serious, hard-working folks here, too. Lots of diversity in Reunion. Like, my old boss was kind of a purist, but I'm the type who finds joy in everything. If I could make a request, then I would like to taste Talula's swordsmanship. The Dragon Lady? I mean, I don't want to talk her up too much, but you don't have a snowball's chance in hell of beating her. And like... Could we even call her thing swordsmanship? You'd be a pile of dust before you even got close to her. I know. Of course, I also know that if I refuse you, the odds of me escaping this city alive are just as small. So what have I got to lose? If I don't push myself to break the chains of complacency, how can I ever improve? <laughs> when did you become so sentimental? <laughs> I seek only the meaning of life. Right. Whatever you say, buddy. Let's set the Dragon Lady aside for a second. What do you think of running with the mercenary team? You're used to the work. You get to do pretty much whatever you want. And the commander you hate is already dead. You can't be trusted. Both of us have so much to hide. <laughs> I know a better place. One much more suited to sharpening my skills than Reunion. I saw it, not long ago, where you and that sarcasm had your little transaction. That battle got my blood pumping. <laughs> There's always something. You took him out in the end, but facts are facts. You can't cover this up. <laughs> alright, alright. You win. We made a verbal contract. You'd get rid of the boss, grease the wheels a bit for me. We're all friends here. Let's not stand on ceremony. But you won't let them go. I can at least lead the people they want to protect. We agreed a Rhodes Island rescue team could come help. Me killing him didn't break that deal, did it? I've got my principles. I don't mind cutting some slack here and there. But when I get a toy right here in my hands, how am I not supposed to play with it? And you let him take down so many of your elite fighters. They're not easily replaced. Yeah, yeah. I'm still pissed off about that. <sighs> and here I thought it was gonna get back together with an old friend. Catch up, make nice. You're impossible. I'm positively heartbroken. 
No, you. We need to get moving. Dragging this out too long will throw everything off schedule. Fine. Looks like we're out of time here. You're really not going to change your mind? Of course not. Last question. Who are you working for now? Oh, there's no way you're going to answer that, is there? And I think I can guess, anyway. Really? Here, yeah, I thought they weren't so famous. I've got a lot of friends in the neighborhood. You know, I've got friends just about everywhere. You're one of them. That last bit disproves the first bit. Nah, what I'm saying is I might have an idea of how your old mercenary team got wiped out. The honored captain of your swordmasters, behind the plot that turned you into the man you are today, may very well be in the place you intend to go. Is that right? Is it... fascinating? <laughs> so you don't even know? I mean, I only just found out myself! You'll figure it out soon enough. Things aren't as simple as you think. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to seeing what you do. <laughs> Whatever will you do? W, what are you waiting for? Okay, listen. My sarcas aren't going to do anything. Whatever needs doing, you guys do it yourselves. Swordmaster. Uh, Flamebringer. You might die in this battle we're about to have. It's been a long time since I've been in a position like this. I'm excited. Long time? Maybe getting your whole team wiped out didn't turn you as icy cold as they say. Looks like you're all cheered up? That's one way we're different, W. Happiness isn't a goal worth chasing. I lost so much last time, but now the path before me is crystal clear. This time, I hope you won't disappoint me. Hmm. <laughs> Look at that big smile. If I said I'd let you live, would you believe me? Funny. I was going to ask you the same question. <laughs>